morning, everyone. From Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Yes, after a four and a half hour drive or more, a little more probably, I am at Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Anyway, getting the lay of the land today, tweaking the gear, gonna say hi to anybody I know who's around. <laughs> Maybe just myself in the mirror, I'm not sure. And uh, anyway, it's beautiful. Look at this, man, that's a, a frozen lake right there. I don't know why nobody's out there ice skating. <laughs> I guess because there's a bunch of snow on top of it. I don't know how that works. I got a rest day today, so um, I'm just resting. And uh, this is like the best I've been organized for anything. Temperatures are looking good. I think I saw like a low on the three days we're doing of like minus 13 and a, and a, and a high of like one or two, which is, that's that's in the money, man. That's that's where it's not too soft and not too freezing cold. <laughs> if it's too warm, the snow gets really soft and slushy. And if it's too cold, freaking it's freezing, man. You just gotta be you gotta be on guard if it's you know minus forty. That's kind of kill you cold. <laughs> A pretty. Uh, a pretty uh, uneventful day I had no workout today I shouldn't say uneventful though I did I did talk to one of my friends for a while on strategy and stuff and uh, you know just food and and clothing and uh, and yeah it was great it's great you know I got several really really experienced friends in the cold and uh, just double checking things with them not much that i was going to change but just double checking uh make sure it all sounded good to him i can't say enough about having mentors you know who are experts in these areas you know i got friends who live here in minnesota and i got friends who live in alaska and last i checked just by opening this freaking door it's cold in both those places <laughs> And they're like experts. I mean, they are just flat out experts. And uh, so it's great to run things by them and double check things. And it's tricky. You don't want to have, you don't want to have a whole bunch on your sled. Like I said, the saying was, uh, you get out there and you're packing your sled and you go, hey, if I don't have this, I could die. If I don't have this, I could die. If I don't have this, I could die. And pretty soon you got a 50 pound sled. <laughs> That's not even funny. It really has happened to me before. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, so I, I double check with them when I got on there and uh, make sure it's good. And we we're, you know, kind of double checking the, the rules and that, you know, you do got a uh, you do get to put a, a, a bag out in the middle, you know, in the in the ra race, uh, you know, a bag would, you know, you can have some clothing in there if you needed some emergency clothing or. Uh, and food, it's mostly for food, but you can put a little bit of clothing in there if you need it. So things you can do to lighten your sled if you don't think you need Today, to yeah, carry uh, so. What I've noticed up here in the cold is I'm definitely running about 200 calories a day higher. Uh, you know, just like what it takes to just to, to be up here because it's so cold, you know. And I think your body, my body just burns oh, more it calories. It has been cold ever for the last week, it's been like below. I think it's like uh, it was minus uh, 15 this morning or something like that. So it's, and with the wind chill, they kept saying on the radio, it's minus 30. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> and I didn't go anywhere. So I just ran to the car. <laughs> All right. You guys have an awesome eating, yeah, evening <laughs> and eating. And, uh, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. I am the tiger. Yeah.